So over here you can see that I have a video footage and let's see now how we can actually keyframe out effects so that the effects change out gradually over time. So to do that I'm going to go to filters right here and I'm going to hit the plus button and let's go around and add in keyframes to saturation so they increase or decrease um, um, gradually over time. So I'm going to click on saturation right here and here you can see that uh, nothing changes out because the saturation is at 100%. So if I were to decrease this, you can see it is black and white right here. So let's say I want the key, um, the animation to start around one second. So I'm going to keep my timeline cursor over here and click on the stopwatch button right here. Once I do that, uh, the set uh, level zero, the level zero, um, uh, let, let's say for example, value for saturation has been set on one second. So now around two seconds, I'm going to go around and increase the level out right here. And this is what you have. So on one second, it is completely black and white. And on two seconds, you can see it is saturated. So now I'm going to go around onto the beginning and press the play button. And you can see that it gradually changes out the saturation. And that is how the keyframing actually works out. You can go around and add in multiple things. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and add in brightness right here, just like this. And this is what you have. So as I select out different uh, effects, you can see that on the saturation, you got the level keyframe uh, area right here. But over here on brightness, you can see that it is not there anymore. For brightness, you got separate timeline right here and then separate uh, keyframe controls. So I'm going to go around onto, let's say, beginning right here and keep the brightness as zero. So I'm going to add in a keyframe right here. So let me really increase out the brightness right here. And then right around over here, I want the brightness to come back around, let's say, for example, uh, 100 right here. So now as I play this, it really increases out the brightness and you can see that it goes back down and then it starts um, like going down as you can see right here. So it's kind of like an effect as you can see right here. So I can go around where and uh, apply this with all of the effects as long as they actually have uh, the, uh, the um, uh, they actually have the, uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, stopwatch uh, icon right there. So let's say, for example, if I were to go around onto a glitch right here, you can see that they have the keyframe over here as well. So right now you got the glitch, but you don't, don't really need to do anything. You can go around with the frequency and everything. So you can add in keyframes to all of these right here and change around, let's say, frequency very much from that time. And you can see that you can go around and change around the glitch over here as well, just like this. So that is how you can keyframe out effects by using a um, shortcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.